What is up guys, this is Bolt, you bring you another video, and in this video we are going to be talking about all the new things you can expect to come within the next 7 days and time for, well it's about 10 more days, I don't know, it's a couple more days until we get the new season, and let's get into the video. So yeah guys, we have a lot to talk about in this video with all the things changing, not really a lot, but a lot of cool things that could be coming to the brand new game, or brand new update, sorry. If you guys also want to see some Call of Duty Warzone gameplay on the channel, let me know down below. Uh, or just like the video and then I will just bring it. Because I do want to play some. I'd love it if they had a field of view on consoles since I am a console player still. That would be fantastic. But they don't yet, so I'm not able to do field of view. But if you guys still want to see it on the channel, I will go through the pain of playing at 80 field of view. Just for you. So here we go. Let's get into the first bit of changes in the new update. Coming to Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone. So in Call of Duty Warzone, you can already guess it. We are getting the new Caldera map. And let's just say expectations are, I guess, high and low. Like, oh, uh, I was listening to Face Jeff talk about, talk about it. He actually had mentioned the fall of warzone will be called era so saying that most people think that this is gonna ruin uh the warzone that people know and love today um which is taking place on verdance right now so will that be the case that's the first thing you need to know i've seen images and everybody who is a true call of duty fan has already looked up images and video of the map a little bit you can get a little bit of a taste for it not a super like huge you know picture but a picture nonetheless um so yeah after that though um the new map could either make or break uh warzone now i not i'm not a warzone player i'm not a warzone content creator or competitive warzone guy I played for fun, I really enjoyed it, and I just never really got back into it. Uh, I just always liked Fortnite's Battle Royale more, if we're being honest. But then again, I never really got into Call of Duty since the Modern Warfare. So, technically, when Modern Warfare came out was when Warzone dropped, so I haven't played Warzone since Modern Warfare was the game that everybody was playing. And even then, I didn't play Warzone much. But anyways, next, uh, then we're talking about changes on the map. It does look really nice. Like the map looks brighter, looks more colorful as we pictured it would since it is the Pacific. Um, it's going to look a little bit more, you know, summer like and I don't know. I don't know how long this rebrand is going to go. I don't know if it's going to be a permanent thing, if it's going to be something that comes and goes so let's get into the vanguard changes vanguard is getting a the its first battle pass whenever uh the season starts which will be really cool to see what type of skins because in cold war the skins got really really creative and i really enjoy that type of creativity with uh skins and stuff like being able to be different things in a video game and being like call of duty and stuff no, it's not Fortnite where you can see your skins, but it's still cool nonetheless. So after we talk about the battle pass a little bit, um, we get into a little bit more of a discussion about uh, levels, prestiges, and all that. We think the way prestiging is going to go, how it's gone in the preseason, but I don't know. I don't really like how it's been in preseason where you don't see your actual level after you prestige. It's just kind of based off. Like, the people in the lobby only see 1, 2, and 3, and not the 220, 230, 240. So I really hope, if there's something that I hope changes from the leveling system of this game, I hope it is that. Next, we will get over to Prestiging. Prestiging is pretty much going to be the same as it is in the preseason. Nothing new there. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, with the preseason leveling, this is pretty much what you expect COD to look like right now as far as everything goes uh leveling wise i feel like this is i hate to say it because i don't like how it look i mean i don't hate it but i just don't like i like seeing the 
you know, whenever you're level 200, I like to be able to see that, show that level off to people and actually look like, you know, you've been grinding out. Like, I don't want to be looked at as some prestige 2 or 4 or whatever the master prestige is. Like, 10 is what it usually is, I guess. So, I don't want to look like a prestige 10 like this guy, but I'd be a max prestige 10 and this guy's just, you know. So, they're definitely going to have to have some way of fixing it and showing me, showing that like wanting people to work toward it in vanguard status of everything we'll be talking about some of the collabs that we're going to be looking at so collabs that i've heard about and you know have been seen about or i mean are uh first we'll go ahead and get the most exciting one out of the way uh captain america captain america to me is the most exciting um it just seems really, you know, I've watched Captain America and Marvel and stuff. So to have that come to a game like COD where I enjoy that type of stuff, you know, it's going to be super cool to see how that works out. Um, do I know, like, because, okay, when we did the Scream in Warzone and Modern Warfare, it was strictly uh, because they had a new Scream movie coming. Now, Captain America obviously is not going to have a new movie unless you count the, the American Falcon, which I think is the new series that the uh, thing Captain America is involved in. After hearing about that, that was pretty exciting. The other thing uh, that we have a conference about is the possibility for, uh, God, what's that anime show? Attack on Titans, I think? Character operator skin. I don't know if like what you would call them in this game if you still call them skins um, but I'm gonna call them skins but yeah Attack on Titan has a new movie coming out apparently to uh, our new show new season whatever it is and there are huge talks about the, the Attack on Titan collab with Call of Duty which I would think it would be really awesome to see them do just because it is different, uh, I wish that I played Warzone so much, like a lot because I would totally grab that like um, animated uh, skin that they have. I don't remember his name. He's like the uh, Toon guy or something. I don't know. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about with this update coming to Vanguard uh, was the skins that we would get in the Battle Pass. If you look... In the battle pass we go ahead at that front image that everybody's pretty much seen by now you can go ahead and kind of see some of the people uh, operators that we have available with new skins which is I don't know I it's pretty cool I don't like the new skins really I don't I think it's kind of like I wanted more so yeah with the the skins on the the map I, I like but if we're being honest I would want more uh, just a little more I feel like right now they're really kind of playing um, and not very interesting not interesting to me anyways they seem kind of basic well, they seem like they will get the job done for the you know for what this uh, battle pass season is titled around which is beach theme and Pacific and all that stuff so for it to be that theme, does it match up? Yes. Do I like it? Not really. I think it's quite boring, but you never know. They could surprise us. Just because those couple skins are beach themed doesn't mean they all have to be. Uh, I really like the last Battle Pass character we had where he was like a rainbow or like multicolor, change color type thing. That's the type of stuff I like. I know it makes the game fake and like not like real war but i mean come on we are shooting people on a video i think whatever they do it'll be good i'm gonna obviously get it to tier 100 and i think it'll you know be laid back